Are you ready? It's playoff time in the Pacific. Welcome to the Jersey Mike's Wrap-Up Show for the Pacific Youth Football League North. I'm your host, Neil Sika. First round action in the senior division. That's straight ahead, right after this. Welcome back. Back on October 27th, the first round in the senior division of the PYFL North playoffs got underway. The number one seed, North Oxnard Black, looking almost untouchable during the regular season. They took on the eight seed, Simi Valley Patriots. North Oxnard Black, the team in red and white, they've been the team to beat all season in the senior division. North and the defense gets things going against Simi Valley. Dylan Chong and the defense. Bringing the pain on Keenan Harris. Harris has had a fine season in the backfield, but the Patriots starting with the football and they're going in the wrong direction. Warriors coming right out of the gate. This is four negative plays in a row and it ends with the safety as Chong wraps him up in the backfield for the two points. Liddell Atkins and the offense looking fine in this first round matchup. All the time in the world to throw and the 55 yard bomb to Malik Williams for the touchdown. Atkins, the quarterback, also does the kicking. Puts the extra point through, nine nothing to the Warriors. On the ensuing kickoff. Dylan Chong had that safety, has the big hit here. Putting the Patriots back deep in their own territory. Simi Valley, the offense struggling through the first half. Swing pass to the outside, doesn't go for much. Look at the Warriors swarm to the ball on defense. And also into the backfield. On the third down, this pass picked off by Michael Flores. And the Warriors with the football back in control in the first quarter. On first down, right after they get it back, the swing pass to Jack Cameron. Almost untouched as he cuts through the defense for the 46-yard touchdown. Atkins. Knocks in another extra point, and it's 16-0 to the number one seed, a team that dominated its opponents during the regular season in the senior north. Back with the football, Keenan Harris. A bright spot on offense, taking the pass over the middle for the Patriots and taking it out to midfield. Jack Barrios, he's had an all-star caliber year at the linebacking spot bringing down Harris in the backfield. And then once more, getting in for the sack. Off the punt, Atkins. He plays quarterback, he kicks the extra points, and he also returns punts for touchdowns. Down the sideline he goes for the score. And the Warriors. Blowing it open, they go for two on the conversion. And Jack Cameron converts 24 to nothing. North Oxnard Black. Playing in front of their hometown fans at Oxnard High School. Defense again, just swarming. 
Andrew Faaleveo with the big tackle out on the flank. And that Jack Barrios, there he is once more, slips into the hole for the interception. On the next play, Dylan Chong on the throwback screen from Atkins. A cavalry in front of him, leading him into the end zone. A 31 point first quarter after the extra point is good from Atkins. Early in the second quarter, Warriors with the football back. Backup quarterback Kane Tina Jero handing it to Malik Williams, who breaks it. 54 yards for the touchdown. Tina Jero, he keep it himself on the two point conversion. 45 0 at this point, early in the second quarter for North Oxnard. On the ensuing kickoff, the loose ball and Manny Marquez. Gonna get an opportunity here to come into the backfields after recovering that kickoff and taking it in for his first touchdown of the season. Adding on to the lead. Already insurmountable on that fourth down call as Marquez takes it in. Back with the football, Hunter Simpson with Simi Valley just trying to get something positive. Patriots, they've dealt with some injuries, but they've had a lot of promise in their season. This ball tossed up by Simpson and intercepted by Flores, his second pick of the game. But it's Keenan Harris, right back to work defensively, stripping it away. And then the presence of mind to turn it into something positive. All the way down the sideline, Harris. Just a fantastic season, a fantastic effort on that touchdown. It'd be the only points the Patriots would score in this opening round game. But they look darn good doing it. Then they add the two point conversion for good measure. 45 to eight at this point. On the ensuing kick, I mentioned 45, here is 45. Malik Williams taking it back for the score. North Oxnard winning the opener with ease, 45 to eight. They move on to round two against the Agora Chargers. When we come back, we've got a full look at the brackets in the PYFL North. The championship matchups are setting up. Keep it right here on the Jersey Mike's Wrap Up Show. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University, the most exclusive football training in the country, invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. FBU now! The regional championship matches are all set now in the PYFL North. We'll start you off in the senior division, work our way down to the Pee Wees. We'll be right back in just a moment on the Jersey Mike's Wrap Up Show personal highlight videos of your best plays. With Swink.tv, you can share all your highlights with all of your fans in seconds. If your team isn't signed up for Swink.tv, ask your coach to get with the program. And if you're already on Swink.tv, well, now's your chance to log in, create your Swink, and show off your moves. I wish I had this when I was younger. I'd have been all over it. Remember, with Swink.tv, you are the highlight. Before we go, a special thanks to Jersey Mike's for this exciting digital platform for all of our youth athletes and coaches so they can showcase themselves 
and their teams. Jersey Mike's is a sub sandwich franchise with over 750 locations nationwide that are open and under development. They've got a long history of community involvement and support. The East Coast style subs provide over 70% of the daily protein for youth and high school athletes. That's why they'll be fueling up all season long at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, the FBU National Championship, the East Bay Youth All-American Bowl, and the FBU camps all across the country. This is Neil Sika. Please join us next time where we'll wrap it up Mike's way here on the Jersey Mike's Wrap-Up Show. Until then, good night. Be sure to check out all the youth football action on jerseymikes.com FBU.